Sengezu Tsebangu, a self-proclaimed Secretary General of Citizens Coalition for Change, is pledged to work towards securing the release of imprisoned opposition member Job Skala. Tsebangu holds the top leadership in Nelson Chamisa accountable for Skala's continued. Skala has been in prison since June 2022, facing charges of inciting violence during a funeral work of a slain CC activist, mobilizing Ali. He had multiple unsuccessful attempts to obtain bail. Sebangu reviewed it in an interview with local radio station that he plans to send a delegation from CCC to negotiate Scala's release. Sebangu believes that political solution is necessary for Scala's freedom. He said, I am negotiating with the states for Scala's release. I will be sending a delegation to meet the state authorities that job is not supposed to be where he is because he was thrown under the bus by our movement. And this is said that our movement can go and visit Scala and cry and yearn for his release yet they know behind their back. I am saying this because I am inside CCC. I will be meeting Ziambi Ziambi, the Minister of Justice. I will also be meeting in the near future Obed Mpov, the Secretary General of ZANPF. These are the people that I have sent emissaries to meet with. It is underway. Sebangu revealed that he is seeking the support of the regional organization Southern African Development Community SADC regarding Job Scala's imprisonment. Nelson Jamisa has also mentioned that they have reached out to SADC and African Union for assistance but have not received a response. Sebangu argued that pursuing legal avenues has been ineffective since Scala is considered a political prison. Similar to Nelson Mandela during the apartheid era in South Africa, a political prisoner is different from a criminal. We are going to negotiate. I have written to SADC. I have informed them that we are going to engage ZANPF for the release of Job Scala. So we will be sending a delegation to SADC for the summit. They will be talking abo about Scala. They will be talking about Scala's release. We have tried legally, we have failed. Sebango accused the Nelson Jamisa's associates of being responsible for Job Scala's continuing imprisonment. Scala has been in pre trial detention since June 2022 and celebrated his fifth and fifth one's birthday in Chikurub Maximum Prison. Sebangu claimed that individuals with criminal backgrounds influenced Jamisa to avoid pursuing a political solution for scholars' release.